Good morning. Back at it. 8 a.m. Total body workout. We're gonna have some fun today. Grab your water, grab what you need. You are going to need uh, detergent, which is cool. So grab that and we will get started. We're gonna have fun today. It's gonna be a good day. Cheers. Good morning. How are we? Does anybody know what day it is today? Starts with a G. Starts with a G. All right, guys. What we're getting into is a warm up. We got three blocks that we're gonna demolish. And then we have some stretching that we'll do afterwards. First thing we're going to be doing is some 90-90 hip switches. So we're going to be on the ground when we do these. Feet are going to be at 90 degrees. And we are going to do five on each side. How's everybody feeling today? Good? That'll give you a hint for what kind of a day it is today or what day it is today. yesterday and we have a lot of arms today. I'm excited. We're getting better though. That's all that matters. We're going to do five on each side. I like to sit at each one that I do because I can feel it and we're opening up our body. So if you need to take a second and sit there, feel your hip, do that. Been using them a lot lately. I'm not mad about it. We're gonna go one more on each side, and then we will go right into world's greatest stretch. If you're ahead of me, you can start with that. We're gonna do three on each side of those. World's greatest stretch, you're gonna be in a lunge position. Right foot. Left hand is going to be on the ground. You're going to take your right arm, opposite arm, and we are lifting it up to the sky. You want to make sure that you are looking at that hand when you're doing this. And we will switch. Bring that left leg up, right hand on the ground, and reach up. You're getting your thoracic spine. You're getting some more hip flexor work. And you're also getting shoulder mobility too, which is great. Open up your body. Again, if you didn't hear me, we're gonna be needing some detergent today and a water bottle, towel if you need it, because let's be honest, you know? One more on each side. Awesome, we're gonna go right into hand walkouts. You got five of these bad boys. We are walking those hands down and we're gonna reach further than an actual plank position. And we're gonna walk our toes back up. Keep your legs straight the entire time when you walk your toes back up. That way you get that hamstring stretch too. Or even if you don't care about the hamstring stretch, keep your legs straight anyways. Two more. body weight squats. I'm sweating already. It might be because it was snowing. Then we turn the heat up. Where is this? Where do we live? Ohio? And we're going to go 15 body weight squats. We've experienced like all of the weather in the past week. Every single day though. Yo, this music is a little weird, I'm not gonna lie. 
already said that before though. We got five more. And we're gonna go 20 jumping jacks. Ready, go. Didn't mean to do that. See, this is what happens. Try to do nice things. Okay. All right. Good morning, Brenda. All right, we are gonna do reverse lunge to lateral lunge. So, reverse lunge to lateral lunge. We got squat jumps. We have elevated shoulder taps, and we have dead bug. Okay. So reverse lunge to lateral lunge. We're gonna be coming down and out. When you do this lateral lunge, we wanna make sure that our knee, our ankle, and our hip are all in alignment. So we don't wanna be here. We wanna come all the way down, make sure we're sitting all the way back up, cool? And then we have squat jumps. When we do these, we, I'm learning. More of a gymnastics background, remember. When we do these, we are coming down and then reaching up for the sky, okay? So we're here and then up. If you touch your ceiling, don't tell mom, okay? Or if you are mom, like I said before, touch your ceiling, come on, let's work a little bit. So, and then after that, we have elevated shoulder taps, but an elevated surface, I'm gonna use this chair here. And then after that, we have dead bugs. One of my favorite exercises ever. Okay, so we're gonna start with those reverse lunges, two lateral lunges. You got dumbbells, use those. We're gonna do 12 on each side. We're gonna start with our left leg. Who's working out this morning? Someone talk to me, it's a little bit lonely over here. If you aren't working out, I should say. If you are working out, you aren't expecting something. Four. advertisements on YouTube, I'm getting a little annoyed. First world problems. We got three more on this side and then we will switch. Who's ready to be back at T3 Performance? If you are, comment down below. All right, we're gonna go other side. Right leg reverse lunge into that lateral lunge. Skip add. Again, we're doing 12 on each leg. Make sure we're squatting down all the way. Three. We got three more on this right side. Last one. We got some squat jumps. We're doing 10 to 15 of those. We're going to start with 12. Ready? Go. 
We got three more on this side, and then we will switch. And we are switching into that right leg. two sets we're doing 15 of these okay make sure we are bringing our arms down and then up to the sky
You got two more on each side. Make sure those feet are flexed. Arm is straight, leg is straight as we're going down. We're taking our time through the entire motion. Grab a drink of water. And we will move on into some tricep dips. How are we feeling this morning? Feeling good? Grab a sip of water. Woo, baby. Okay. We have some tricep dips. We have lateral, lateral, <laughs> lateral bear crawl, and then we have a Jayhawk. And then we're gonna use one of these bad boys for that. You know, this song used to be like one of my favorite when I was in middle school and like heartbroken on my bus ride, I would listen to this. What a loser, okay. <laughs> Let's go in two tries of this. I'm gonna use this chair. And we are, that was a joke by the way. I know I'm not a loser. Um, and we are going to do 15 to 20 tries of dips. We're going 15 this round. Like I said, hand stands, you know. And then we're going into the lateral bear curl. And this is the song that I think about, that I think about T3 performance, you know. You got five more. Lateral bear crawl. We're going down and back five times. I said three originally on my sheet, but I just said five out loud for a reason, you know? So we're gonna do it five times. Okay, ready? Down and back. All you need is 30 minutes. This is nothing crazy. You can get it done and get it over with. Move more, you know?
Moly. One more. hands on. I'm going to use this bad boy. We got Jayhawks. 15. Go. Six. Eight. Finish her. How are we feeling? Who's working out? It's gonna be a good Wednesday today. I feel that. I feel like it's gonna be a really good Wednesday. I don't know why, but I just got that feeling, you know? Like that Friday feeling. I got that Wednesday feeling today. I like it. I like it. Okay, next thing we got. We got side lateral shuffle, burpee, lateral shuffle, burpee, lateral shuffle, burpee, okay? And then we have pillar planks. I know, I know, but we're gonna do them anyways. Okay, so we're doing the pillar plank. We're coming down here. And we're up. You got five on each side. We're doing this three times through with zero reps. And then we'll stretch. Okay? Burpees, side to side, you got six. So you're going three one way, three the other way. Pull. Grab a sip, because you won't be taking one for, like, let's be honest, it's probably about maybe two minutes. Ready? So I'm gonna start on this side. And we're doing lateral shuffle with burpee. And go. We got one more on each side. This is two. We got one more. Pillar plank. I'm going to do mine over here for my elbows. Put 
procrastinating. drink of water. And we will stretch. Wow. Fun fact, this is actually like a topper of a Tempur-Pedic mattress. Works great. Grab drink water. I'm going to catch my breath for a hot second. To sitting straddle. So, again with this stretching, if you can hear me, you should be doing this because you need it. I promise. <laughs> hey, sitting straddle, first thing we are going to do, we're going to go down to our right side. I'm going to be putting both of my hands on either side of the leg, and we are walking those fingertips down. And we, the biggest thing we want to do is make sure we're keeping our spine in a neutral position, so we're not like hunched over like this. We want to keep our neck nice and tall, our shoulders nice and tall, and then we are walking down. So if you can only Turn here and you're like, wow, I feel it a lot. Great. One step at a time, walk your hands down. This stretch gets so many things. We love it. And we're gonna go down to the other side. Do the same thing. Again, you should be holding these stretches. 45 to 60 seconds. I highly recommend 60 seconds. Why? Because you have the time to do so right now. That's why. <laughs> I need to be more serious. You need it. Then I feel bad for yelling at you. Not really, but you do need it. Seriously. Both hands on either side. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take that left arm, or right arm for you, and we're gonna bring our arm over our side of our head, like this. You're gonna feel a lat stretch here, and you want to just let your body hang. So like, let's say you bring your arm up and you're like, whoa. Again, hold it. You're gonna feel it in your lat right away. You're gonna feel it in your hip flexors. Reach for the side of the wall, and we're switching. In that butterfly position. Again, here we want to try and get our knees to the ground. Okay? Standing up nice and tall when we're doing this, we're not coming over hunched over like this. Fingertips to the ground and you're walking your hands out. That's going to help keep your back upright rather than like grabbing your feet and like rocking. You know? Keep your head up and walk those fingers down. Biggest thing I notice a lot of the time is the knees. So you can focus there if you need to. Lightly press down on your knees. You're gonna feel it right away. Hold that for 60 seconds. You'll notice you'll get better at it every single day if you do it every single day. 60 seconds out of your entire day. Are you serious? 
That's an investment, and it's a wise investment if you ask me. And we're gonna straighten our feet out into a pike. Flex them up, and we are gonna be walking our fingertips down again. Who did um, Coach Mike Richards' dumbbell workout yesterday? Did anybody do it? Dumbbell and kettlebell, I guess I should say. Yo, I died. I love it. The best part I love, the best part about being a, a coach at T3 is all of us are so different. So it's like you get something one day, and then you got something completely different another day, and then you got something completely different another day. It's great. It's awesome. So make sure that you check everything out that we're doing. All of our videos are going to be saved on the Facebook page, on our YouTube page, on our Instagram page. Well, not the lives, but you know what I mean. So hope you guys have a good day. I hope you enjoy, and I will see you next time. Make sure you do the speed workout and the athlete class at 10. Bye. Bye.